Hi, Christy here. Today we are gonna practice an asana which is called EPK1. Stands for Ekapada Kundinyasana. Ekapada Kundinyasana. This is an arm balancing posture. The posture is built upon sacral pose. If you haven't mastered a sacral pose yet, highly recommend you go back to my sacral pose tutorial. I'll put up a link on the screen or in the comment. Or if you're ready to practice EPK1, let's start. Let's take a look at what is EPK1, how the final shape look like. When you're ready, step your feet together, touch your toes to each other, squeeze the knees towards each other. Exhale, turn right, enter a side grow pose first. Press your left elbow against your right knee. Your right hand could be floating in the air. Easier option would be to rest your right elbow below your hip, but that's up to your level. On an exhale, lift your legs, push your shoulders forward to a side crow. To enter EPK1, separate your legs together, upper leg to the back, bottom leg to the side, straighten both legs. Squeeze your legs back together and come back. This is an EPK1. To have an EPK1, there are involved few elements. First is your arm, your shoulders, and your core strength. And the second element is there is a twisting position that also requires some flexibility in your body. Or more precisely, that's a combination of strength and flexibility to squeeze, to twist at the same time. Also, there is a third element about this position. The third element is about opening your legs. The element requires you a lot of side body strength. So in order to practice the pose, we'll focus on these three elements. Preparation one, let's enter a twisted chair pose. Legs together, keep your knees together. Bend your knees on an exhale, twist to the left side. Remember to squeeze the knees tightly against each other. That's the accents. Then press the palms together, press your right elbow against your left knee. When you press the palms against each other, inhale, lengthen the spine. Or you can try to crawl your armpit closer to the outside of your knees for a deeper twist. Once again, inhale, lengthen your spine and inhale, press the palms towards each other and twist. Look at the sky. Hold it there. Inhale, center. Exhale, relax. Walk your legs, relax a little bit. When you're ready, let's also do the other side. This time I'm changing the angle so you can see it from another direction. On an exhale, this time twist to the right side. Rest the outside of left elbow against your right knee. Press the palms towards each other. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, twist. Again, you can also crawl your armpit closer to your knee for a deeper twist. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, relax. The second preparation pose that we'll work on is a side plank. As I mentioned earlier, you have to have enough side body strength in order to let your hips float in the air instead of dropping. So you have enough air time to separate your legs later on. So let's do a side plank. Rest your right elbow below your right shoulder. Your right hand could be pointing to the side of the mat and step your legs back. You can rest your both feet together. Exhale. Push your hip towards your palm and exhale. Push your hip towards your palm, towards the sky. One more time. Exhale, push. Exhale, one more time. Exhale, push. Then relax. Indeed, this pushing position is leveraging your side body muscle in order. So that's why you're working against the gravity to push. Let's also work on the other side. Rest the right hand next to your right hip and exhale push your hip towards the sky one more time exhale push exhale push one more time push and last round exhale push and relax so this is actually not an easy position for a lot of students because we 
to not work on our side body strength a lot. But these are essential core strength as well. It's an integral part of your core strength. So number three, we are working on separating the legs. In this part, it might look a little bit awkward, but what we are trying to do is to simulate the separating legs position. But this time, we are not floating in the air because that would be very hard for you to float and separate the legs at the same time if you're not familiar with the position. So this one, we would be resting on the mat and separate the legs. So you get a sense of how to separate your feet to different directions at the same time. One to the back and one to the side. So the position would look like you are resting the side body of your right, the right thigh, the side of your right thigh and right hip on the mat and turn your left palm, your left wrist to rest in front of your right knee and your palms will be on the same line, rest your right palm on the same line, exhale, lean your shoulders forward, bend your elbows, this look like a side row, then separate your feet, top leg to the back and bottom leg to the side. Remember both legs will be off the floor, I mean the both feet will be off the floor. Inhale, center, exhale, relax. By lifting your feet off the floor, basically you're exercising the muscle strength of both legs. Because when you strengthen your legs, you're exercising the side body muscle and the bottom leg, you're also working on your quartz muscle in order to strengthen the leg. So these are how you try to familiarize your body muscles in movements in a simulated position. So the other side, this time, the left side, the left leg side of left legs on the mat and your right wrist against your left knee. Exhale, bend your elbows and Shoulders forward, extend your upper leg backward and bottom leg to the side. Keep both feet off the mat. So keep your muscles really active, your feet off the mat. Inhale, center, exhale, relax. So these are the separating leg position. Then now let's try to enter EPK1 together. Once again, we will enter it from a sacral pose. Squeeze the legs together, exhale, twist to the right. Press your left elbow against the outside of your right knee, crawl your armpit closer to the knee, your palm parallel, exhale, lean forward, bend your elbows, lift your legs, side grip. When you're ready, separate your legs at the same time, keep pushing the floor, lifting the hips, lift, 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 and strengthen the legs, inhale, center, exhale, relax. So the hardest part in the EPK one is to keep your hips floating in the air that relies a lot on how you press the mat and lift the hips at the same time. That is the side body strength. Hand in there, we still have the other side to work on. But before that, I want to emphasize that for every posture, try to extend the duration to say, for example, like five breaths. Maybe at the beginning when you practice, you start with one breath and two breaths and three breaths, but keep it up. So let's work on the other side. So this time, squeeze the knees together and exhale, turn to the left. Rest the right elbow against the left knees, palms parallel, out, shoulder width distance apart. Exhale, lean forward, lift the legs for side row, separate your legs together. Inhale, center. Exhale, relax. Once you master the sacral pose, there are a lot of other poses that we can work on. Say, for example, like Fallen Angel Pose. This is a pose that I will teach you in my next tutorial. So please remember to subscribe to my channel if you like these tutorials. I'll practice together with you next time. See you.